Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a punch out card. So it's not necessarily a pop up because you can't just open your card and then it'll pop up. This is a punch out where you would uh, crease it at the folds so that it punches out or it comes away from your cardstock, all right? With this one, just to kind of give you, a, you know, if you want to put this together how it is on screen, you cut the first one where you can bend it um, at the folds, and then you use either glue or double-sided tape to tape a solid sheet to the back so that you have color um, behind it. As you can see from this picture, there are two ways that this can be done. Um, in this one, I just have the wings and then the antennas are cut out. On this one, the wings are cut out, but I also have it so where the antennas technically are still attached so that you can pull those away. Um, also, the bottom of the butterfly is also cut out to where that can still be left behind and punched out as well. So I'm going to show you both ways. Let's go ahead and go over to our design page. Well, I never actually design on the mat. I always like to design away from it and then bring it back to the mat. You can do this on any shape. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. It can be a rectangle, a circle, uh, a, a rounded rectangle, a star, any shape. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to do a rectangle. I'm gonna go to the top. I'm gonna make my width five and my height seven so that it's a five by seven card. I wanna make a duplicate of this because, or you can right click and choose duplicate. This will be my backing uh, for the card. Remember we said that to see the color, you just put a solid piece on the back. If you're doing this as a folded card, you would um, make a duplicate to the uh, right or left, depending on how you want your card to open. You know, Normally we naturally kind of go to the left so let's go and duplicate to the left. I'm going to take a line and place it. Well, we're gonna hold down shift and go straight down. Drag and select the line. Let's make it a little bit bigger, okay? All right, we're gonna drag and select the line and the, um, the box. We're going to align to the left. So now with this, we're going to double click, add an edit point, stretch it past this box, click off, select both, the, both of the boxes and weld. What this will do is tell you where your perforated line is. You can either just have this cut and you can fold it yourself so that you don't have a cut line in it, um, or you can have the machine cut the perforated line so that you know where to cut it, by going to your line tool and making it a dashed line. So you can make a thin dashed or a thicker dash. That's up to you. Or you can just use that as a reference for where to line your design up to and then just let the whole entire thing cut and you create the score line yourself with like a scoreboard or just folding it in half and using your bone folder. So we're gonna go ahead and place our image in the middle. I'm just gonna choose a butterfly from my library. And we're gonna merge. That is going to be on my design page. This is grouped together, so I'm just gonna ungroup this so that I can pull the butterfly away. And then we're going to size it to the size that we need. I'm going to select these and center it to the middle. And then use my arrow key so that it doesn't move to just kind of nudge that over. And hold down Shift and Alt to shrink it down to the size that I want in the middle. Don't wanna to get too close to the edge so that it's not 
a thin piece left on your card and you take the chance of it ripping. So not too close to your edge. And you can also hold down shift if you want it closer to the bottom because you're going to do it maybe like a print and cut and add text up here. Um, you can either choose also to type up there and have it cut out, but we're gonna focus on the butterfly part and creating the punch out for that. All right, you're going to double click on it to see what state it's in. If you double click and you do not see edit points, that means that it is grouped to something. You're going to right click and choose ungroup. And then click off of the image, double click on it again. Now you should have edit points. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut off the top of the head just so we can have the antennas isolated, okay? I'm going to make a duplicate of this because again, I'm gonna show you both ways. So I'm going to duplicate this and move it. Uh-oh, let's undo and grab here and move this down. All right, zoom back into the top. I'm gonna to use my knife tool and just cut across here. All right, now I'm gonna double click. I'm going to click where the wing meets the body. So we're gonna click on any one of those points, right, left, doesn't matter where you start at. Then you're gonna hold down shift and you're gonna click all of the other points that connect it. All right, and then let go of shift. You're gonna go to your point edit menu and you're going to choose break path. Then you want to right click, well, first click off, because you don't want that selected, you don't wanna see the edit points. Click back on it, right click, and release compound path. Now you're gonna see all these boxes and that's exactly what you want. We're going to click off and then click on the pieces that you want to remove. So we're gonna delete there, and then the bottom portion for the bottom of the body, we're gonna delete that. This now makes it to where it's gonna cut that line and it's still going to be attached to the paper at that point. For the antenna, we're going to use our knife tool again and cut straight down. Now, double click, and you're going to delete the edit points. So starting here, we're gonna go delete point, and you wanna note which way your edit points are going. Had I clicked on that first one and it jumped to this point right here, I know that it's going in the wrong direction. I need to come on this side and start to delete points. So we're gonna delete, 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 all right? and then double click on this one. If you want to select multiple points, you would hold down your shift key, put your mouse somewhere over the top of it, drag and select, so holding down your left mouse key, drag and select. You don't wanna select the one that's your anchor point and delete point. Then come from the other direction, hold down shift, drag and select your mouse up to select those points and delete point. You are now done with the version where the wings will pop out and the antennas will cut completely out and you will see the color of the paper underneath through there. All right, to keep it all together, you can select everything here, right click and make it a compound path. You're set, ready to go. Now, for the part for the one or the version where the antenna pops out and the bottom, what is it called? Is that called thorax or something? I forget what it's called. But where the bottom part is cut out, we're going to double click, hold down. Well, let's zoom in because it looks like there's a edit point a little close to it. So we're gonna hold, click on that one point or we can start on this side hold down shift 
and you're gonna click on the points, same points I clicked on before, and we're gonna break path. Then we're gonna click off, click it again, right click, release compound path. Instead of deleting um, you know, the points there, we're gonna double click here and we are gonna delete points, but we're not gonna delete, you know, split it like we did before because we want that to stay connected so that it um, kind of bumps out. So we're just gonna hold down shift, drag and select over all these points, not touching the ones that are right at the base of the antenna and hit delete point. This is going to make where it is connected. Oh, you know what? We do have to split it. I'm, I'm sorry. We're gonna take our knife tool and we're gonna split here because we need the split. So hold down shift, select that, delete point. Double click on this side. Click on this red dot and delete point. Let's see, I think we have two there, so delete point. Now it's made the same way the wings are. There is no part that's gonna cut it off. So it's still going to be connected to the cardstock and you'll be able to just kind of fan those out or pop those out. For the bottom part, we're gonna double click and we just need it for it to come down a little bit. So you can either go off of the edit points there, you decide how you want your, cause it may not be a butterfly. So you decide how much you want to pop out. So for this, I'm just going to hold down shift, select the two points at the top and delete point. It just bumps it down to where now, this is where the opening is. We're going to zoom out, select it all, make it a compound path. And that is how you would create a pop out design or a punch out design. No matter what it is, you know, any shape you have, you have to just disconnect a point on both sides in pretty much four corners, depending on how you want it to pop out. So you'll have to disconnect a point on both sides of it so that that part is still attached to the paper and you can punch it out, increase it so that you have a punch out card, all right? Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to leave it as a comment below. You can join my Facebook group, Silaholics Anonymous, Silhouette Help, if you have questions and post it over there. Sometimes you'll kind of get answers a little bit faster, um, but you can definitely post those questions here over um, on YouTube. If you have not subscribed, hopefully this video encourage you to subscribe so that you can get more Silhouette Studio and Silhouette Cameo help. If you want to know about sublimation and Epson printers and all that kind of good jazz, be sure to visit our secondary channel, Honestly Speaking, that's spelled S-P-I-N-K-I-N-G. And that's where you're gonna find all of your crafting videos, your sublimation videos, your Epson help videos. All right, until next time, guys, have a great one. Peace.